When I can sit in my office somewhere and say, this is what I think we should do. I think we should get 19 canoes in Canada and we should ship them down to Peru and we should do a canoe trip with students in the Amazon. That's what I think we should do. It couldn't be that hard, you know, so let's just do it. Running into all these problems and the actual logistics of bringing everything down was horrific. And you constantly ask yourself when you hit those moments, why am I doing this? Is this worth it? At some point you think, you know, if this was easy, everyone would be doing it. We saw the canoes in the morning at Atalaya, and I just said, like, we did the impossible. This is happening. We're going down this river. It's looking real fast. <laughs> We're going to do this. We couldn't even down the Amazon. This is something completely different, off the charts. It's a classic Joe idea. I think it's really appropriate that we introduce canoes here through Boris and Reset because they are leaders along this river. For me, it was something special. Just to canoe with a big number of students, I feel very happy and it was just a nice experience. All the kids were waiting to go with their life jackets and their paddles. The cultural exchange that they can have with tourists is just, I mean, you can't beat that. A huge benefit of travel, especially in this guided, facilitated way, is that students get to see that there's a million ways to live a life, and that most of them are very, very good. It's what experiential education is all about. It's getting outside of your comfort zone in order to learn a new lesson.